Hey guys, my name is Jeff Rojas. I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based out of New York City. And you're watching Kiss Photo, where I try to keep things all photography easy and simple. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about three lenses for crop sensor cameras, specifically for portraits. Now, with crop sensor cameras, what you have to realize is that you have a crop factor of about 1.5, which means that every lens that I put on it, I multiply by 1.5. So as an example, I have a 2470 lens on here and I'm going to multiply that by 1.5. So I'm really shooting with a 35 all the way to a 105, which gives me a lot of versatility and a lot of wiggle room when I'm photographing somebody in a studio environment. So if I want something full length, I can shoot something that's full length. If I want something that's nice and close in a portrait, I can shoot that nice and close in a portrait. Great versatile lens. The second lens I'm gonna pick up is a Tamron 90 millimeter lens. I'm specifically using a 90 millimeter lens because at a 1.5 crop, crop factor, we're getting about a 135, which has beautiful compression. More than that, it's a lens that I can use to open up to about 2.8, have a really shallow depth of field, and I can focus up to 11 inches from my subject. So if I wanted something for a beauty shoot or showing small details of the face, clothing, whatever's there, perfect lens for that. Amazing little lens to use on your crop sensor camera. My last lens, the big lens that I have here is a 70 to 200, which sounds overkill for portrait sessions, but depending on what you're photographing, how much space that you have, this could be an amazing little lens. This specific lens would be a crop factor of about 105 all the way to 300. The great part about using a lens like this though is the compression. You have beautiful compression in your images, so you have truer compression to what you see in person, as well as a shallower depth of field. If I focus on my specific subject, I have a nice depth of field in that background. So if I'm shooting things like texture, I can focus on my subject, have a nice depth of field in the background, and it just looks beautiful and dreamy and just gorgeous portrait photography. Ultimately, these are three different lenses that you should be using, even if it's on a full, even if it's on, <laughs> even if it's on a full frame camera, but more so than anything, I want you guys to have some versatility. So if you're shooting in a small studio environment, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, these give you that whole range from 24 all the way to 200, or 35 to 300 if you're shooting on a crop sensor camera, as well as something to shoot details. It's all about the details. It's all about versatility when you're working in a portrait environment because you never know what you're gonna find. With that, I leave you this short video. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day.